Do you know who Dee Barnes is? Clap if you do. Oh. It, it's okay, it's okay. Do you recognize her? Yes. Well, no, that's not uh, Robin Quivers. She kind of looks like Robin to me. Anyway, hi Rob. Um, okay, Dee Barnes, everybody, is a legendary, and she's legend because of the story that surrounds her, not because of her body of work. Um, a, she's a legendary hip hop journalist. Um, her name is Dee Barnes, and she recently made a shocking revelation of her being homeless. Now, you know I come from radio. Back in 1993, there was a big party going on, and everybody, the who's who was there. This is before black music and white music melded together, and now we're all as one. You know what I mean? There, there, was, there was a time <laughs> when hip hop and R&B were over here. You know what I'm saying. Okay, okay. And I was in the thick of things on 98.7 KISS. I was the internet. Yeah. So. Dee had this very popular show called Pump It Up. Pump It Up was a show geared towards the exposure of urban artists and it was strictly an urban thing. In 1993, she sued Dr. Dre for $22 million after he assaulted her because he didn't like her interview with him. Okay, the assault happened very publicly, at a big giant party going on at a big giant situation. Everybody was there, people were standing around watching Dre pummel this girl. And I was on the radio just a flapping and a yapping. Well, after this happened, and this is before Dr. Dre was super rich, but he was surrounded by rich people like Jerry Heller and Eazy E, and you know, they were, they were the bosses of Dre at that particular time. Uh, Dee ended up settling out of court. A couple of people in my Hot Topics meeting said, well, that was before Dre had money. He, she couldn't have gotten much money, you know? And I said, no, 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 no. I'm sure that somebody that he knew, because Dre is, of course, the, the genius behind all the production. Nothing moved at Aftermath and whatnot without Dre stamping on it. Um, so she's homeless now. She's about to be homeless, I'm sorry. Uh, she put this on social media that um, her, she's being evicted from her apartment. Um, she's in a really bad way. I don't know whether she's married or whether she has children or not, or whether she's just going in alone. She's now in her 40s. Um, so this is a tough road. She has a GoFundMe page. Now, I'm not asking you to donate, but if you see it in your heart and you have a few extra dollars, I do believe what Dee is saying. Maybe I believe it because she's a woman, you know, a woman who was on her way to being what could have been a great journalist and, and, and she could have survived even in these times right now. I didn't know her, but I knew of her. I, I didn't, I don't think I ever even met Dee Barnes, but you know, we were all in the thick of things together at that particular time. So she got this GoFundMe page, but she was only asking for $5,000. Now I say only because that's a very specific amount. You know, $5,000, that's not even first, last, and security. <laughs> you know, $5,000, it would seem to me if you're gonna have a GoFundMe page that you would not put an amount on it. Once you say you're about to be homeless and if people know who you are, then you just start donating. But she's already up to $13,000. Yeah. Um, it's gotta be very humiliating. Um, you really have to put your pride aside to make this such a public um, announcement. You know, GoFundMe page. You know, Dee, I, I have never met you. I would love to have you here to be a real life hot topic. And then you come out and you talk and, and we don't have much money here at Wendy, but I think that I can scrape something together for your GoFundMe page as well. And, Try as I might, I can't remember the content of the interview, which did end up getting published. Um, by the way, this is another story that's being covered by the New York Times. Just saying, Times, what happened? <laughs> um, um, yeah, you know, it's, it's gotta be pretty bad. I don't remember the content of, uh, of the article, but you know, what kind of man beats a woman? And what kind of men stand around and see this happen and not break it up? And the party just continued. They got D out of there and everybody continued their boogie down. Mm. All right, moving along.